All right, guys, I want to do a quick video to show you guys how to upgrade your uh, new laser, whether you have the 24 watt, the 36 or 48 watt uh, laser module, this is all going to be the same. So if you go over to Ikea.com, uh, I'll leave the link in the bio to bring you right to this page. You can also find all of your different manuals here as well. Now, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see right here where it says firmware. Um, this is the, the most recent update. Just click on it. Now I'm on a Mac. Now this will automatically download to my uh, computer. As you guys can see here, I've already done it once before, but I want to show you guys what the steps look like. So let's uh, just pop over here. I'm just going to open a new window and let's open a new window. And I have the hard drive. I'm sorry. I have the thumb drive that came with the uh, laser right here. So as you can see here in the root directory, there are no files. So if I go into, um, I can just use the first one. If I go in here, uh, I can click here and I'll have these two uh, files. You just wanna copy these, you're just gonna you know, copy them. I wouldn't drag them over, I would copy them just in case something goes wrong. So I'm just gonna copy them and then I'm gonna paste them here on the thumb drive. And then my next step is to connect it to the laser, turn the laser on, and we should see the steps that it's gonna to take to update the new laser firmware. All right, let's get to that. Okay guys, so now I have all the files on this thumb drive. I'm just gonna place the thumb drive right back into the laser. You guys should have received this thumb drive when you received your laser. And you wanna make sure that your screen is attached. So we'll see how the steps uh, progress. So I'm just gonna power on the laser. And as you can see there, it automatically detects the uh, firmware is on there. So it's gonna to start to update. Now this may take a few minutes. I probably won't speed this up, but you know, maybe I'll speed this up a little bit just so the video won't be quite so boring. But at the end of this, it should show that we had a success on the firmware update. Now, what I would recommend after you've updated the firmware, go back in and remove the uh, firmware off of the thumb drive, uh, just so you won't possibly try to update it a second time or you have any conflicts or anything like that with it. So one was successful, now it's gonna be updating the second component. So it's updating two things. It's gonna be updating the screen as well as gonna be updating the um, motherboard for your laser. So right now it's uh, screen updating, upgrading, please wait. screen upgrade success. So that's pretty much it guys. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If you have one of these lasers and you are going to need to do your firmware update at some point, this video can kind of walk you through it. It was very simple. All right guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech and I will catch you all in the next video. Until then, peace, I'm out. <laughs>